and I'm here today because the horses have been in the park for 150 years and I'd like to see them there for another 150 at least. What's your name? Nick Bacon. And uh, tell me your I'm, I do a variety of things. I'm, I'm just an acting, um, I'm a concierge, I do voiceover work. Um, and I've been around horses, riding them for over 30 years. Um, and when I moved to New York, um, I was amazed to discover that we have horses in Central Park. Um, in those days, Claremont Stables was open. And I learned then that the whole history of the park was based on horses. When Vox and Olmsted laid out Central Park, they had to fight to have the carriage drives and the bridle path put in. Because at the time, that was the means of everyday transportation. And, and have you been to the stable? Do you do, you, do you all this talk about abuse of the animals? I have been to the stables. As a, as a horse person, I was very concerned when I heard rumours of ill treatment. So I did that which the mayor hasn't bothered to do. I actually visited the stables. And I was amazed to find they're the most pampered horses I've ever come across. They're certainly the most heavily regulated. They're regulated by five city agencies, including the NYPD and the Department of Health. Every horse stall has got the horse's details with its medical history there. The horses, they have to have two medical examinations a year. They actually get four because they have to have an examination by a veterinarian before they go off on their five weeks vacation and again when they come back to make sure they're fit to travel and fit to come back to work. And I know horse body language and I walk along the hack line and I see a collection of very well kept, very contented horses and you can see the way they act with people. They, you know, we can't give them human feelings, they don't have them, but they revel in the human contact. You know, you see the people giving them carrots, which the, the, the drivers give them to feed the horses. And I know when I've gone around the stables, the horses will actually come out to say hello as you walk past the stall and sit head over and say, pet them behind, pet them behind the ears. That's always the spot I'm most done. The horses love. No, the, these horses, they're loved. They're very well kept. They're almost treated as members of the family. Um, and from a purely practical point of view, if you've got an animal weighing 2,000 pounds, I'm not going to ill-treat it because they can be just as nasty back. And an animal like that is not going to do anything he doesn't want to do. Um, and they, they, it's what they do. They've been, they're domesticated animals. They've been purpose bred for this job for thousands of years. And as far as I'm concerned, I see those animals up there, they're fulfilling their destiny in one of the finest bits of urban parkland in the world. So you don't think it's a, a piece of history that's archaic? Uh, the treatment you're saying isn't, but everything about it is... No, I think we... We need to hold on to things from the past. If we if we lose the past, we've got no way to see into the future. You know, part of the problems we have now is that we don't learn from history, and we need to keep this history here. I see the way kids react when they see a horse for the first time close up. I look with wide-eyed wonder on a kid's face when they see this huge 2,000-pound animal, and the child can just go and pet it, and the horse will whicker in its ear. It's, it's beautiful to see. You know. Men and horses have been in partnership for thousands of years. And the horses were here a lot before the, the, the motor cars. And it's, it's, it's a link with our past that I think we lose it up here. It'll be, a, it'll be a huge gap. Central Park will not be the same without the horses. And as well as that, but you've got three, four hundred people whose livelihoods will be lost. And some of these people have been doing this for two or three generations. It's not just a job for them, it's a way of life. And it's, it's, they love what they do, it's what their fathers and their grandfathers did before them. And, it's, and people love to see them. Thank you.